What if I told you there was one person holding you back from having the best photography out there? What if I told you that this person knows your deepest and darkest insecurities and they exploit them every time you go out to do something? Well, guess what? That person is you, but I'm here to help you. So today I'll be giving you three things to correct or else your street photography, and as a matter of fact, your photography as a whole is gonna suffer. And number three, I think is hands down the most important. So you're gonna wanna stick around for that one. Everyone, I'm James Alcatraz and let's jump right in. Number one, get out of the mindset that you only photograph at certain times of the day. If you have time to go out and shoot, do it. See, for the longest time, I avoided shooting photography at night because I was concerned about the low light conditions. But in all honesty, I was just being lazy. The reason I didn't feel comfortable photographing at night was because I didn't know how to adjust the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. So for a long time, I put off photographing at night because I knew that if I wanted to photograph at night, I had to learn how to do that. Now, luckily, I knew better and I ripped the damn band-aid right off and I taught myself how to do it and now some of my best work is done at night so why take an opportunity away from yourself and only shoot at a certain time of the day maybe you like shooting at night but you hate shooting in the mornings or in the afternoons because the sun is getting in the way of what you think is your best photography learn how to overcome it do you get stuck shooting at a certain time of the day let me know in the comments before we continue if you're finding any of this content on this page helpful please subscribe and like my, my content it really helps the channel out and it helps me grow and reach a bigger audience. Number two, don't be afraid to adjust your settings in an unpopular manner. So what I mean by that, you'll always hear people tell you to shoot at the lowest ISO, have the shutter speed at a certain speed just because you have a certain lens. And although that's a very good base, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's always gonna be the rule. See, and that's the thing. With photography, people wanna give you rules. But chances are, if you're into photography or in any kind of art form, you like to break the rules. So break them and adjust the settings to something that you're not supposed to. For example, I know in shooting in night photography, you're not supposed to crank up the ISO because it's artificial. It's going to give your images a grainy look to them. Something that others would seem to say that is undesirable. But what if that's your style? What if you enjoy that and you can make the most out of that style? Now you found your, your, your look, your image. And if you were to listen to every other YouTuber out there that does photography, you probably wouldn't experiment with that. And that's part of this art form is you have to experiment. You can't just assume that the standard is always gonna work. And when you're doing work in post-production, you might find a way to make what you've done with your settings pop. And now you know that you have a, 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 an edge on everyone else because you're doing something that not a lot of people are doing and you're making the best of it. See, now that you know that I was lazy with my ISO and aperture and everything like that, what are you lazy with? Let me know in the comments or something that you've seen other photographers be lazy and they claim that ah, they're just too good for that. Let me know, I, I'm curious. Number three, and what I personally think is the most important, stop comparing yourself to other people. Don't do it. Look, I'm guilty of this. Whenever I do something, I wanna be the best at it. At least the best that I can be at it. And sometimes when I am making progress and then I stop and see what other people are doing and they're just taking it to a whole nother level, it kinda of gets me down and I get down on myself and it, and it discourages me and it makes me think, am I just wasting my time? But listen, if there's one thing you can take away from anything that I put out there is don't do that. Don't let it get to you. See, I learned this lesson as a child. When I was a kid, me and my friends all kind of wanted to learn how to play the guitar around the same time. And no matter how many books or how many lessons I took, I just felt like I wasn't progressing like everyone else. Then what felt like overnight, I was better than everyone leaps and bounds. See what I did, and this is the secret is, I focused on myself. I quit comparing myself to others and I just practiced every day. And for a few months straight, I didn't put myself down and I didn't compare myself to others. And this just catapulted my skills to another level. And I've applied this to other things in my life. And now I'm doing the same with photography and I'm doing my best. I encourage you, look at my Instagram account from the beginning to now. I've always considered myself a good photographer, but I've always been kind of lazy. And I didn't like editing my photos because I thought, why would I want to do that? But look at them. Over time, I've been making incremental steps and I've been just focusing on myself. I haven't worried about what everyone else is doing. Although at times I do, I try not to. And you can tell that there are spurts where I just start 
growing a little bit and a little bit more. And I owe that to the fact that I don't let myself get down because photography can be very discouraging. So please, if you're feeling down on yourself or if you just need a little boost, talk to me. Reach out to me on, on my Instagram or here on this channel. I'm, I'm very open and, and I wanna help you grow. I really do. Cause I know how hard it is to wanna be good, but it's just so overwhelming. So please reach out. So I feel like I'm coming for a spot where I just learned how to do that. And I wanna encourage you too, to grow and not to listen to anybody else uh, that's putting you down and yourself especially. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. Thank you for sticking around. And I hope that you leave me a comment. Uh, I wanna grow this community so that we help each other. Like always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now get out there and pursue your passions.